Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Now this is proof to my kids that I'm still being good as I recoup from my surgery. Oh, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link right up there. Anyway, they don't want me doing nothing, but they can't stop me from talking. So, did you know that you could grow your own sweet potatoes? Yes, you can. And I just want to give a shout out to Lead Farmer and Lady Lead because I learned this from them. You two have inspired me to grow a garden and have encouraged me to encourage my family to do the same. And Lady Lead, you are growing your channel like a boss. Congratulations to you. I'm going to leave links to their channels at the end of this video so you can go on over and check them out. Now, if you want to learn how to grow your own sweet potatoes, come on in and bring a friend. All right now, so the first thing you're going to need is some organic sweet potatoes. You can't use the regular ones in the grocery store because they're usually sprayed to keep them from sprouting. Now, next you're going to need a vase or a glass that you can set the sweet potato down in. And I just happen to have this vase that I could set my sweet potato down in. Usually people use toothpicks on three sides of the potato that will allow it to rest down into a glass that's much bigger. All right, so there is a rounded side and then there is a more pointed side of the potato you are to put the rounded side down into the water and the pointed side up. So I did all of these things and I just waited and waited and watched and watched. I was waiting for to see some roots and I finally saw some roots and I was excited. I was so excited. And then I waited and it took about three weeks and then I started to see the little plants growing and those are called the potato slips and I was just so ecstatic. It did it. I did it. Now those are the plants that you see right there. Now each one of these plants will grow its own root system. System. and once they are established you can separate them and plant each individual plant with this root system in the dirt now you can plant them in the ground or you can plant them in uh, five gallon containers if you like the only thing though is that they like warm weather so I'm thinking yeah it's about to get cold so I might just try growing mine in buckets inside so what y'all think y'all i think this is amazing i love learning new things well i hope i have encouraged you to try this too and if you have any suggestions or comments for me please leave them down below if you like my video please hit the like button leave me a comment and tell me so and subscribe don't forget to share it with a friend as well thanks for stopping by talk to you later bye Thank you.